2011, and welcome back to another episode of NFL Playoff Predictions. Last time we did Week 12, and today we're going to be doing Week 13. But let's do a recap of Week 12, where I went 5 out of 13. I think this is one of my worst weeks. Um, first of all, I did get some matchups right, but um, I had the Dolphins upsetting the Browns. The Browns won, but speaking of upsets, upsets, the New York Jets and Sam Darnold just dismantled Oakland. What a fantastic game. We had the Titans, who I think are a legitimate playoff contender of the way they're playing. Uh, two really great games here. Um, being a Ravens fan, that game was fantastic. Even though this game was a very low-scoring um, game between the Patriots and Cowboys, I think it tells a lot about both teams and the way they play. As far as NFC matchups, we had the Bears winning, the Buccaneers winning a very exciting game. Man, Chris Godwin is fantastic. Um, Dwayne Haskins wins his first game as a starter. And the Redskins win their second game. And then we had the 49ers really destroy Green Bay in a game that I thought was going to be really close. The Saints win a classic against Carolina. I think this game could be a top 10 game of the year. And then the Seahawks beat the Eagles. So going into week 13, we have three Thursday games as this is Thanksgiving. Hope you guys all have a fantastic game enjoying the holidays. As you can see, let's make these predictions. So I'm actually going to do um, all three of the Thanksgiving games at one time. So the first one we have is the Detroit Lions hosting the Chicago Bears. It seems like the Lions always play on Thanksgiving. It's kind of a tradition. And yes, the Lions lost to the Redskins. And yes, Matthew Stafford's out. But I don't trust Chicago. Their defense isn't as elite. I just don't trust the Bears. They beat the Giants, but as a really ugly close game. I think the home crowd, the Lions, are going to get the win. We then have in the afternoon the Bills taking on the Cowboys. Bills' defense is really good, and Dallas has really struggled. It's tough because I want to go with the Bills. I think it'll be a tough game playing at Dallas, but I think the Cowboys have struggled against playoff caliber teams, and I think the Bills will get a really good win here. I think it'll be close, but I trust Buffalo. Josh Allen guys have proved it, and then we conclude Thanksgiving with the Saints and Falcons. I'm going to go with the Saints. I think that they're going to rebound. Yes, the Falcons beat the Saints a couple weeks ago, but the Saints look like a completely different team. So those are the Thanksgiving games. Hope you guys enjoy the holiday. Um, to the rest of the games, Packers-Giants here. I think the Packers are going to win. They're going to rebound, get a really great win. The Giants look like they're struggling. Saquon Barkley has really, I don't know if the words regress. They just have not been able to use him well. Um, Redskins-Panthers, I think the Panthers are going to win. Um, Kyle Allen yeah, and Christian McCaffrey, even though know they lost, they're still really good. Rams-Cardinals. Cardinals, um, the Rams looked really off in that Ravens game. I think Arizona is going to win. I know they don't have a great record, but I really like them, the personnel-wise. And then um, Monday night, Vikings and Seahawks, I think will be fantastic. I'm going to think it will be close to playoff Cowboy teams, but I think Russell Wilson at home with that crowd, I think they're going to win a field goal game, like 24, 21, 27, 24, like really close. AFC versus NFC games. So we have the Bills-Cowboys, which I think will be fantastic. I'm going to go with the Dolphins to beat the Eagles. I'm an Eagles fan. And yes, the Eagles defense has played really well against the Seahawks and Patriots. But man, that offense cannot score points. If that offense was able to score points, I would be going Philly all the way. But they cannot. They have struggled. And Miami, yeah, they're not that great. But they've been able to put points on the board. And I think the Dolphins will beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Kind of the upset game. We have the Battle of Florida here, or two of the three Florida teams with the Buccaneers facing the Jaguars. The Buccaneers, I really like their offense. Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, um, I think they're going to get their fifth win. Um, the Jaguars are a fine team. Nick Foles hasn't really worked out. Leonard Fournette has kind of died down a little bit in terms of production. So I think the Buccaneers are going to win. I think this could be a very fun game, but I have Tampa Bay winning. Oh, man. San Francisco 49ers, Baltimore Ravens. A matchup before the season, you might have thought of it's an okay matchup. But man, this game is going to basically be a Super Bowl preview, in my opinion. The fantastic Niners defense against Lamar Jackson, that offense is going to be amazing. I'm going to go for the Ravens. I have not been able, there's not been a defense yet that hasn't been able to stop Lamar Jackson, what he's been able to do. So until that comes, I think the Ravens are going to win. But I think this will be a fantastic game, a Super Bowl preview. Ravens win. AFC games, Jets, Bengals. I think that the Bengals are going to lose their um, 12th straight. I think the Jets are a bit, bit of a have some hype. Will they make the playoffs? I don't think so, but Sam Darnold's playing really well, and their defense makes enough plays. I do think there's a chance that Bengals go 0-16 this year. 
Raiders Chiefs. Um, I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think it will be close. I think Oakland had been an off week with the Jets game, but I think Patrick Mahomes is just so unreal, and I just think that they're going to beat Oakland. I think Oakland really struggled, and that game kind of showed their weaknesses, and I think Andy Reid and that coaching staff are going to take advantage. I honestly have no idea about this division game with the Titans and Colts. I don't. It's really tough because, for me, it's like, you know, like, I was close on some of these other games. Like, there's one factor. There's not one factor here that's leaning me towards the other way. You know, I'm going to go with the Titans. I just think they have that X-factor player in Derrick Henry. I'm really not that out, um, knowledgeable on the AFC South, but I, I think that the Titans just, the way Ryan Tannehill's playing from what I've seen, he's playing pretty good, and I really like Derrick Henry, so I'm going to give the Titans, but I think it'll be close. Chargers, Broncos, I'm actually going to give Denver the win. Um, LA has just not seemed that great this season with their injuries. Phil Rivers has seemed okay, but they're coming off a bye week. I, I think just because sometimes upset games can be kind of, uh, division games, can be kind of on. I'm going to give Denver the win. Brown Steelers, um, very interesting rematch with that Thursday night game. Devin Hodges is starting to Mason Rudolph. I think that the Steelers are going to win. I think they're going to be energized at home, division game, and I think they're going to beat the Browns. I think that Devin Hodges is going to get it done, and I think they're going to beat Cleveland. And then Sunday night, Patriots Texans. I'm going to go actually. I want to go Houston because I really love the Sean Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, but that Patriots defense, man, is something else. I think this would be a great test. I also just noticed the Patriots played the two Texas teams in a row last week, Cowboys, this week, Houston. However, I think I'm going to go with the Texans. I think that they're going to get the home win. I think it'll be very entertaining. And those guys are my predictions. I think Texans, Patriots, I think all three Thanksgiving games are going to be interesting. Niners, Ravens. It's going to be really fun. The Monday night game, a lot of exciting games. And let me know you guys' thoughts below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.